everybody, Thomas here from thomasforstarphotography.com and thelightroomdiary.com. Today I'm going to take a quick look at using Lightroom's new Aperture Importer to import an Aperture library into Lightroom. So um, I've set up a new empty Aperture or Lightroom catalog just so we can have something clean to start with and I'm going to import an Aperture library. Now I haven't done this before, I haven't run through it so what I'm doing is just taking a look at it for the first time so you get to see all the options and we'll see how it works. So let's start by choosing Aperture Importer which is in the plugin extras menu so import from Aperture Library. So what this does is bring up the window now as you can see this is already selected one which seems to be the one that's currently running which is quite clever so that's the library that I already have selected in in Aperture, um, so it knows where to put it already. Uh, we can change that obviously um, as soon as this is finished doing what it's doing. Okay, so this is finished analyzing and it's told me how much space is used, how many images are in it, and so on and so forth. Now, the options are we can select a different library if we want, but now this is the one I want to use, so we're going to go with that. Um, the second option is where you want to put your images. So I do want to change that. So I'm going to select somewhere else. I'm going to select an external drive. So I'm going to put that on my Okay, so let's just have a look under here and see what other options there are. Import full size previews into the Aperture Library if they're available and up to date. So let's turn that on. Okay, and this is going to go off and do its checking again. If you have a large library, this is quite slow. One of the things I will say about this is they've certainly given you plenty of information, so you're, it's not like you don't know what these options do. Um, this, for example, here on this option, leave reference files in your Aperture Library. There's a good warning here to explain what that does and why you should and shouldn't want to do it. This is kind of handy if you don't want to make copies of everything, um, then I would maybe take this on, but there is the danger that if you're still using Aperture, you might actually do some damage if you uh, edit a file and make some changes to it or move it by mistake, and um, then Aperture won't reference it anymore. So I'm going to leave that ticked off for the moment anyway. As you can see, this takes quite a long time, and I'm pr editing this as well so that you're not sitting through the whole thing. Okay, I have everything set here that I think I need to set, so let's just see what happens. Click OK. And let's click, actually, I don't have that much space left on that drive. I'm going to put that somewhere else. Ooh, that's even less space. <laughs> All right. Let's stick it in here. Let's just go and take one more thing. I'm actually going to turn this on because I don't want to uh, end up duplicating a lot of stuff and moving files that don't need to be moved, especially when a lot of things are on this drive anyway. So I'm just going to do this. And once again, it's checking my Aperture Library. That's not annoying at all. I'm going to pause this again so you don't have to sit through it. Okay, so that's done that again. Uh, it's finished doing its whatever it was doing. Okay, so OK, and let's just sit go and see what happens. Again, this is going to take a long time, so I'm going to pause it until it's complete, so you're not sitting through all this. Um, and let's just let a few go for the moment and see what happens. It'd be funny if that's all it did. <laughs> OK, so here's an interesting thing. This has popped up. Lightroom can automatically detect the city, state and country Blah, blah, blah. Enable reverse geocoding. Sure, why not? Enable. OK. OK, I'm just going to let that go. And I'm going to pause this for the moment because you don't need to sit through all this. OK, so I stopped this after about 5% because uh, it was taking too long. So if you're going to do this on a large library, you might want to leave it overnight. But uh, everything seems to have worked OK. Um, what it does is folders are labeled by date, so it puts everything into a, its own date. Um, 
and it creates a collection for all your projects and uh, everything seems to be fine um yeah no not really much else to say about it it seems to just work pretty straightforward and, uh, i know this isn't a comprehensive test by any means um i don't really have enough storage space to make a duplicate of my library so that's why i'm not doing it fully um but yeah other than that it seems to work fine um that's pretty much the process so here you can see projects that i've imported so everything seems to be there uh it's still updating previews um what else is there to say uh yeah everything seems to be the way it should be <laughs> can't really complain <laughs> okay so that's about it um uh, i know this hasn't been particularly useful but i just wanted to give you kind of a just run through of what actually happens when you when you run it okay so that's about it uh, i'll see you next time